Matthew Monas here, brand new smartphone on the table. This is the Nubia Red Magic 3. I don't know about this name. I feel like this name was created by some guy who was watching Black Panther. They were probably like, oh my God, I love this accent. Let's call it Nubia to be after the Nubian princess of the land. This can be a smartphone. It can be something to play PUBG. Then at night when the ladies are bored, they can use it to fight the forces who threaten Wakanda. Anyways, that's my terrible Black Panther accent. Now this is a special phone because it's a gaming phone and it's different than any other gaming phone. This is a phone that can not only game with high refresh rates, but it also offers the ability to record an 8K. World's first phone that would record, record, record an 8K. That's absolutely insane. Now my guess feeling this is more of a gimmick and this is just bragging rights. And I don't think the quality of it's gonna be that great, but we're definitely gonna test it out. Now, obviously right here, you see the whole influence of gaming. Right off the bat, you have that black and red theming around it, which I'm gonna put off to the side for a second. And on the bottom, you get your accessories. Now in this box, you have red themed USB Type-C charging cable. You have your power adapter. And then of course, last but not least, you have your paperwork and then of course some stick, ooh, stickers. Bam, damn, I'm ready to game. This is a very, very big phone. It is huge, 6.65 inches. This is something where you could actually seriously hurt somebody with. Why can't I open this? Oh, here we go, it's this one. Oh my God, what do they, what do, they do? Like glue, crazy glue this together? Okay, this is huge. This is a big phone, as it should be because it's a gaming phone. You want a big screen to game on. You don't want a tiny little thing because the experience, the immersiveness is definitely not gonna be the same. To give you guys some context, this is the OnePlus 7 Pro, which is a bigger display. And you can tell it looks significantly smaller than the Red Magic 3. That is a big difference. On the back right here in this weird diamond shaped prism, you have your fingerprint sensor, so it is physical. You have a 48 megapixel camera, which my opinion or my impression is probably not gonna be the greatest, but we'll test that, that out soon. And then of course you have a 1080p display. Now the big thing about this display is that it's a 90 hertz panel. So you're gonna get quick refresh rates, very similar to the OnePlus 7. On the left-hand side, we have a vent here because built inside of here is an actual fan to keep this phone cool. We're gonna do some tests to see how well that works. Volume controls, power button, which is in a pretty good position considering how tall this phone is. On the bottom, you have some paddle shifters. These are capacitive, but if you tap these, these should act as controls when you're gaming. Now you do have another proprietary connector on the left hand side. Now this red button up here launches an app called Game Launcher. And what this does is it kicks on the cooling fan immediately and brings up basically a sandboxed instance of all your favorite games. It pretty much puts it in a situation where everything in the background is kind of put on hold so that all the resources from the phone is being pushed towards the game itself, giving you the best gameplay possible. Now I don't know if you can hear this, but in the background, we have the fan and you can actually hear it doing its thing. Cooling fan off, cooling fan on. So as expected, this phone does have dual speakers because let's face it, you want dual speakers when you're gaming. They're both front facing. So you have one on the top, which is embedded over here and then one on the bottom. Sound is good. It's not as good as the iPhone XS, but it's still pretty good for a gaming phone. Here, have a listen. Let's do a quick camera test. This is what the front facing camera looks like. And this is what the rear facing camera looks like. So this is pretty cool. If you go to the video settings under more settings, the back camera video quality can be switched to 8K. It is a beta and it's recommended for outdoor use only. My theory behind that is probably because it needs a lot of light in order to work efficiently. Now let me know how this looks because I'm not seeing this until after I edit the video, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Oh my God. All right. This is actually really, really smooth. Now I don't think it's taking advantage of the 90 Hertz, but it is working. I mean, it feels nice and fluid. It's on the highest spec requirement I could use. Whoa. Blue team streak has just been put to an end. This chick sounds like she's been smoking her entire life. The blue team is, the blue team is looking for their cigarettes. Pass me a smoke. Because I sound like I had about 10 years of smoking behind me. Ah! 
This is a 5,000 milliamp battery, so I'm expecting to get like insane battery life with this. Eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM. You have the fastest Snapdragon chip, the 855. Unfortunately, there's no micro SD card slot, so you can't go in and put expandable storage and store more games. You can only buy this with 128 gigabytes or 256. Software-wise, it's using the latest version of Android, Android 9. Right off the gate, some of the menu settings are already in dark mode. I haven't played around with the theming too much, but there is a multicolor LED strip to give you more of a gaming RGB vibe. But the big question I have is, are gaming phones actually worth it? I mean, this is a cool device. It is kind of bringing that PC laptop feel to smartphones. Anyways, that wraps up my first impressions and unboxing of the Nubia Red Magic 3. This is the number one smartphone in Art of Wakanda. Stay tuned for the full review. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Whoa.